All right, so here we have a few steel power tools that we use on the daily. This is the steel FSA 135R, and this is the steel SGA 85 battery powered backpack sprayer. See the battery goes in the side there, battery goes in here. And for powering those, we have two AP 300 batteries here. Pretty slick, right? But today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you guys how we charge those on the on the road. So we have here, I picked this up from Walmart actually, it's an Everstart 750 watt inverter and I have it wired into the front here. Uh, up underneath the dash, I went, well, I'll, I'll go over there here in just a second and show you guys, but I'm going to flip this on here just so you can hear it run. It is gonna make a little bit of noise. Charger kicks in first. And then the blower motor, the fan inside the inverter will turn on. So it does make a little bit of noise. This battery is about full. We're both full. So this has worked extremely well. So while this battery is being charged, I can have this one in the trimmer and it goes through, I don't know, two, three quarter acre yards. And then I just swap it back on and the other one's ready to go. So two batteries is all we need to make it through a day of commercial mowing, just flip flopping them in and out of the truck. So let's go underneath the hood and I'll show you guys how I wired this inverter in case you're wondering how to do that. Alrighty, so over here you can see I got some, I don't know what, 10 maybe feet of red wire and 10 feet of black wire I believe. And I bought a few of these yellow crimps. Can't remember what gauge wire this is, it's pretty heavy though. And then we went onto the positive terminal with that one and then onto the negative with the black. I zip tied it across on this wiring that's already coming from the battery and I run it down uh, into, there's a hole, I hope you guys can see it. Kind of hard to see. Oh yeah, you can see where it's going. Uh, there's a hole right there. You can fish it through and it'll come down under the driver's side right by my feet. Take you in there. And then you can see it comes through. I don't have a light on here, but that hole is basically right up in here. And then it's gonna come through. And I have these zip tied where I splice them into, you can see it all right here. I zip tied it and then I put uh, just an inline splice right here and then put electrical tape around it. And um, same with the positive. So you can see this cable is a little bit thicker but uh, this stuff seems to do the trick and hasn't caused any issues yet. So this is the heaviest wire I could find at the hardware store. So I picked this stuff all up at the hardware store. And yeah, I just want to show you guys relatively simple process. Haven't had any issues with it yet. Just wanted to keep this one nice and simple for you guys, nice and short. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. Um, if you're wondering what all this other crazy wiring is for, I have my snowplow attached to the truck too. So this truck's got wires running all over it. But until next time guys, I'm Zach with Blades LLC. If you wouldn't mind, go down, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for me. It goes a really long way. And uh, yeah, check out some other videos. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.